Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am sorry that the first part of this video of my tutorial for making shirts with the little wrinkly things like my almond shirt uh, got cut off because I've completely failed because Element updated their website so you can't copy the exact picture of the shirt. So yeah, just go on with the rest. It's kind of just in the middle of me saying a sentence and there's nothing I can really do about it because it's 2 o'clock in the morning and I need to get to bed. So sorry about that, but here is the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Yeah, thanks for subscribing by the way. Anything that has that, just go on Google and type in Element shirt, whatever. Alright, so let's go on the house. And crap. Uh, Alright, I think I made this a pretty long video so far. Three minutes. Alright, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm a dude, I'm a dude. Alright. Jeez. And, uh, sorry guys, it's 1.49 a.m. I have school. So, I don't know why I'm making this video. Alright. Choose whatever the freak you want. I'm choosing something that's pink. I don't remember making it. Uh, never mind. That sucks. This looks pretty boss. Let's see what these yellowy are. Right, they're all in the same color. I'm gonna take this green. This is just going to be my second uh, tutorial thing. Alright, so obviously it doesn't do it on this website because they're not dry art. Alright, I'm going to view it larger. And I'm pretty sure someone that goes by the name of Downhill Skater already made a tutorial like this, but <coughs> Paul May, uh, I don't know many people know it. Actually, I think the video has like 10,000 views, but whatever. Let's just go on with this video. Yeah, take her selecty thingy. Take or select. Try to, this is like a more detailed tutorial, put it that way. Make sure you don't get this thingy, this line, or that line. Get down, try to make it as centered as you can. Alright, copy that. I'm copying with control C and control V. Other people probably just use the copy button. Alright, so yeah, fit it in. I go past the gray lines because sometimes it will like show up a gray line on your shirt which I think is retarded so alright for the back just get the space that it does not have writing all over it and then uh, squeeze that in this is pretty easy so far right once you get the picture you're pretty much in business um for certain parts like this thing you want to try and make it so you don't want to take a selection like this you want to get one that fits it more like that. So, I'm going to use the same selection for uh, both the this side and the other side because when you have it on, the shirt on, you don't see it. So, um, I'm just going to squeeze that in. This is pretty much the easier part of the entire thing. Uh, just cut cutting stuff out of the picture and putting it in. This is pretty much an easy thing to just say steal it from the website. But they're not going to sue you for just taking their shirt and putting it on Roblox. Because that's, well, actually, I don't know. Companies are cheap these days. Alright, so we got past the easy part, the top part. And now we're going to do this. Uh, if, you, if you take the big selection, oh, crap. I don't undo that. Alright. I'm going to take a little square selection. And I always make these different. I'm going to get that on the top. You always got to be careful when you're doing this because if you get it past the gray line, then it will like, it'll mess up the picture of the shirt. And then people will think, oh, this shirt's messed up. But it's really not in game. That's just the stupid um, picture of the shirt that makes it look messed up. I cannot really tell because of the uh, gray, but I'm just going to guess what here. Uh, this shirt might be messed up. Just try to make it so it's not going past it because that might mess it up big time. Alright, sleeves, you want to do the same thing, but I have a little trick to my sleeves. Uh, I'm going to take this one and then I'm going to put it right here, obviously. I could make this long sleeve to make it long sleeve. You just want to go like this, and then there you go, long sleeve. But um, I make short sleeve shirts. 
Actually, I'm going to make this a lot rather long one, because I haven't made one long since 09. Alright, now I'm going to copy this one, but instead of putting it here, I'm going to put it on the side. So then people that are wearing the shirt most of the time won't notice that. Oh, and they won't really care either. I don't know how other people do this. Most of the time I see people that just copy all of the same thing straight across, but I don't do that. You probably can. I just like style. So, I'm going to do that with another thing. Wait, how did I do that? Alright. I really don't know how I got that right, but let's just copy this bad boy. So, same thing, uh, on the side. I'm sorry about this really long video. I don't know if, if you've watched, oh, shirt, I don't know what just happened. But, uh, if you've watched up to here, thank you. But, yeah, this is just what you gotta do. I'm just showing you filling them in because some people might need step-by-step -step help. I'm not really sure. This video probably won't get over 100 views, so who really cares? And, uh, just about done here. I know you might be thinking, he, I really can't place these well. Nah, I'm just using a freaking mouse that has freaking peanut butter and jelly, like, sticky all over it. It's not a mouse, it's the keypad. Well, it's the thing that you use to control a laptop, put it that way. Alright, I'm gonna actually make that smaller because, there we go. Alright, you're going to select the section with the rectangle select, and then press delete on your keyboard. So that'll make it transparent, so you can put on like whatever color you want with it on your Roblox skin. And when you delete it, uh, make sure you're using the rectangle select. This thingy won't do it. I, I, I don't know, actually, whatever. That's just how I do it. So, now, you're pretty much done. But what I like to do, because people tend to copy my shirts a lot, is I put my little... Uh, tags on this to let people know that I made it like because uh, when people do copy it they'll be like they'll delete it and then when you watch look at it they'll just show some big uh, big white mark unless they somewhat try to fix that but I think no one can get that perfectly so yeah I'm just making my marks on this um, people know that I made it because people are going to want it. People don't like me. They don't like knowing the fact that my shirt is off sale, so they copy it. But I'm always going to make my name. I think this is overdoing it, but who cares? Okay, so you're done. Now, uh, just save as. I'm just going to name it. I think I got, yeah, I got a lot of Hollister shirt. Hollister shirt, I'm just going to put 12, because it is 2012 now. Alright, so, it's, uh, now that you got this, oh yeah, nice friend request, right? Um, I'll go to create, and obviously my other shirt that I made for my other tutorial got already uploaded, and Actually, why am I still on? Oh, crap. It's going to be 2 a.m. and I have to go to school tomorrow. This sucks. Alright, so, yeah. You got it on now. And you have to be BC, obviously. So, yeah. I'm just, I'm I'm just going to rush through this. You can change the name, description. I'm just going to hurry up and put this on sale. So I can make the shirt. Sorry for breathing into the mic. Yeah, I put it for five. You never put it on one, you're not going to get anything for it. I got on shirts with a thousand buys, and then I realized I had it on one, which pretty much sucks. I know. Alright, so yeah, this will pen, and then once it's done pending, it'll look something like this one, which I just uh, made a video. Well, I didn't make a video because it got messed up. But, uh, yeah. Thank you uh, for watching. Um, sorry for the long video, and yeah, I'll see you somewhat in the